The long road to recovery continues tonight for a Dalton man critically injured in a chemical reaction. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. Jason Jeffers was badly burned in July while working at MFG Chemical. His recovery is far from over. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato joins us now with that story. Alyssa. That's right, Kim and Josh. We first brought you Jason's story a couple months ago. Family members say Jason accidentally inhaled a chemical at work. His family members told me they thought his recovery was coming to a close until things took a turn for the worse. Let's she say. says all the time that she misses oh, her daddy. Rude. Tanya Newton says her brother in law's recovery has been nothing short of a roller coaster. They sent him to rehab and um, in the rehab facility, his kidneys um, started um, going, you know, not working, you know, a little bit again. Not totally not working, but they had to start doing dialysis on him again. Newton says for a while, Jason was showing signs of recovery until doctors delivered the news. Jason may need a lung transplant. We thought that his lungs was gonna get better. We was hoping that his lungs would get better and he wouldn't have to have a lung transplant. Because, I mean, that's a long road, too, because after you have a lung transplant, there's different uh, medicines you have to be on. We spoke to Jeffers' wife, Robin, a few days after the accident. Barely holding back tears, she told us her two kids were keeping her going. She also has one on the way. Newton says the worst part is not knowing what the future holds. She's worried about this new baby coming, you know, and having three kids and them growing up without a father if something must have happened to him. Now, Jason Jeffers is currently at Erlanger, and if you're interested in helping the Jeffers family, go to our website, newschannel9.com, and click on this story. Or if you just want to share well wishes to the family, you can go to Facebook and type in prayers for Jason Jeffers.